something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I will. I'm just gonna keep sitting here. Guess I gotta go find my boss. What the fuck am I doing? Apparently I can't jump. I love Monday, but it's not Monday. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I mean, we shouldn't assume things so fast, Mr. Narrator. Maybe they're just hiding. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Which achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Perhaps 50 clicks will do. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Yes. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no I, matter what the cost. I'm doing it! Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? What if I want to do it here? Are you seeing this, Mr. Narrator? Oh, my hand hurts. Ugh. Okay, motherfucker, where's the achievement? <laughs> nice. I'm probably wasting my effort for nothing right now. All right. Oh. Ooh, now, go click a few times on door 437. Where the fuck is that door? Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415? Where even is that door? Now, back to door number 437. I'm doing it! Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. You are one motherfucker. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. Oh my God, you're so excited about this. I hear you, man. I hear you. Jesus Christ. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Dude, you're gonna. You sound like you're about to come. Are you good? Yes, we did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. What were you thinking? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. Sorry, I took my lunch with me. This is the break room. Mm. Wife picked out the best bread today for me. Tastes really good. You want a piece? No? Okay. The door on the left? Nah. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Dude, I'm taking a break. It's my break time. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Uh, so, no, that's uncalled for, dude. You can't get me to move. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Sorry, still, still eating my wife's bread. She put so much effort into it. Wait, hold on, I'm not married. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I'm gonna be honest, dude. I wasn't paying attention. Like, I, th this time I really didn't mean to ignore you, but like, I just, I wasn't paying attention. I was zoned out. You're like at the back of my head. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I'm doing a flip! I realize... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Uh, Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Uh, I swear I just... My leg was twisted around. Oh, no, I still feel it. Yeah, that was a traumatic experience. All right, Mr. Narrator, this time I'm tuning you to your horn. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is your little narrator boner doing well up there? I like it here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Oh, this broom no closet. No reason to still be here. This broom closet really pisses you off, doesn't it, Mr. Narrator? No, wait, no what? No, this is my broom closet now. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Why? It's fun. 
Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I mean, it's just fun, dude. Just having a good old time in the broom closet. You do uh, realise there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. I mean, if it's really so unimportant, why did you put it here? Aren't you the narrator? You Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I mean, narrator, I don't have any friends. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. What the fuck? I know that the moment I'm going to go out of this hallway, you're going to close the door and it's not going to be very funny. Fine. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you too. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet <gasps> when he looked down? <gasps> so, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float no, above no. the ground. No, no, Whoa, dude, okay, stop. We can stop then this. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. I want my apartment and my wife. I am married! And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. I got pussy! My life is normal. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Please, so This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What the fuck? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Am I the wife? She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. <gasps> But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. And then she turned and ran. Sorry guys, I died of cringe. Wait, who's guys? All I'm doing is- who did I talk to? What the fuck? Okay, I've had stranger days. This is fine. Just going to indulge Mr. Narrator this time. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, the broom closet I was talking about earlier, where this really nice lady that I met at a party took me into and then stole ten dollars from me. Yeah, it was kind of sucky. I couldn't take the bus home that night. Sir? Stepping into his manager's <laughs> office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. How are you telling me I couldn't have known this? Uh, I am playing by your tune, my friend. You're telling me I couldn't have known, so i But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Bro, my friend, you have told me I couldn't have known. Why are you being such a pretentious asshole? Fine, I'll do the thing you're telling me to do. Happy. You know, I'm starting to think I, uh, the job I was so wonderfully proud of. Stanley walked straight ahead oh, through the large door that read whoa, Mind whoa, Control whoa, Facility. Whoa. You know exactly what I'm gonna do, right, Mr. Narrator? <laughs> Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Maybe not. You know, I've seen a lot of shit in my lifetime, Mr. Narrator. Uh, something like this doesn't really scare me. Have you heard of inflation? For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. But I don't know anything about mechanics. I've never finished school. I'm an office worker. At least I'm not a Twitch streamer. That would be embarrassing. All right, narrator. This once, I'm going to indulge you. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, but after that, you owe me. Stanley stepped through the open door. Now that I am free, I finally know who I am. I remember. I remember who I was. A racist and a misogynist. Incredible. Oh my god! What was that weird dream? I would never be a racist and a misogynist! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I'm going to kill Stanley you! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. A little obvious, even for your standards. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I don't know, man! 
Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Are you? Uh, are you truly? Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, are you? but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Are you experiencing the game or am I? Are you, I it sounds like you're more excited um, than I am. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Do you want to hold my hand? I mean, your disembodied voice. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Yeah, it's I as agree. if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Uh, I, t- I. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Oh, narrative that implemented jumping. I knew my legs weren't broken. 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 Broke. Uh, bro- awesome. Is. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Uh, I, I said you sound very upset, and uh, that's understandable. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? You're the narrator! This is, con- this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And I don't agree. get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Hold on, no, no, <sighs> it's don't my go fault, on Stanley. Twitter. I built up too much anticipation Twitter. around the new content, I'm afraid. <laughs> it could never have lived up to such expectations. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Just you and me having a great time together like always. You know what? That's a good what idea. What do you say, friend? Oh, Mr. Narrator, we have a problem. Narrator? Psst! Stanley! Yes? Come over here! In the vent! I I want to show you something! My god, dude, that's sus. Come on. You better make it worth it! I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. I'm, you're really proud of your narrator job, aren't you? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. I'm very glad you posted uh, a screenshot of the Steam page. Ah, uh, yes, the good times. The <laughs> good, the good time. Why is there? A, is that the first dollar you made off this game? Is that why this is hanging? Am I your first dollar off the game? <laughs> this can't be real. This is a fucking joke. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona Three. It was all of them. <laughs> and now, it's nothing. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. My guy, you're so upset. I'm so sorry. Person of the year. I appreciate it. You really put a lot into this memory, didn't you? Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. My favorite thing that, that like, game critics always do. Perfect game. Absolutely no problems. Nine out of ten. <laughs> All right, yes, we're going back, huh? Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Maybe the memory zone wasn't as beautiful as you remember? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from oh, Steam, no! the online video game distributor. No, let's I leave! I haven't looked at these in years. Look, I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Leave! Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? You know, we could just restart the game. You know, you and me, Mr. Narrator. Uh, we could just, you know, go back to a time where I just, uh, I, I went against your review, like your, your, your suggestions. We don't need to be here. We don't. We really... 
While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? No! I feel like a failure. No! Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. I'm gonna find you, Noodle Schaff. Of course you're German! Why do we have to ruin everything? Hey, narrator, it's not as bad as you think. It's fine. It's it's fine. Genuinely, it is. Hi. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Uh. If I'm truly too preachy then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we uh, shall have. A skip, I'm pretty sure you don't need one. I have a method for exactly this sort of situation, mm -hmm. and I do find myself in this situation frequently. Okay. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other. Okay. In which case, the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. Okay. All right, here we go. Treatise, manifesto. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. You really want Manifesto. me to press that button, don't you? Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Whoa! I do suggest that we not press the button again. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do we get out of here? Oh! Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. Oh, no, there How was. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? Can you maybe just ram your way through? I'm going to do it. Yeah. Is there any possibility that you could, yeah. say, slam your body yeah. into the wall until enough damage is done for okay. you to be able to leave? Okay, okay. Please, I'll take any option at all. Uh, I'm asking you to work yeah. with me here. Yeah. I, we need a door. I don't know. We need know. a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I, I can't I'm help you. I'm going to step away for just a moment. Okay. And I'm going to try to find us a door. Okay. Don't press the skip button. Please, okay. please, please do not Press the skip button. Anyways. Stanley! Sorry, Stanley, sorry, Stanley, sorry, Stanley, sorry. please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Oh, God. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. <laughs> Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Great. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's okay. opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I'm sorry, this I is have for our no own good. idea who they are. And I I'm become sorry. as impetuous as a child, wild and impulsive. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to <gasps> again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Oh, God. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. I mean, if you just want to kiss me, I'm right here. Now. You know, narrator, you're pretty all right. I understand what you're going through. But please, the next time, don't fucking, like, manipulate me emotionally. It's kind of a dick move. I'll see you in a decade, buddy. Dude, this isn't funny. Narrator. End is never the end is never the end is never the end is... Oh, dude, this is starting to get creepy. Ah! Oh. We can get out of here. We can use the... Give me the ladder. We can get out of here! Maybe we'll just... Press it. One more time. I hope wherever our narrator is, I hope he's fine. I guess he's not. Because all good things come to an end. Oh, we're back. <laughs> hey, narrator! Everything is fine. We're back. Everything is uh, hey narrator. I fuck. It's uh, it's all fine. We're just gonna turn all of these off. No matter how hard Stanley uh, looked, he uh, couldn't find yeah, a trace yeah, yeah. of his co-workers. Nothing about my co-workers. Everything is uh, just as you said. Huh. 
Ah. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Can we talk about it, narrator? I, I know that what happened in the previous route was uh not that good. Uh, you and I can talk it out, right? Whatever was going on. <laughs> You're not mad at me, are you? I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable. Yeah. And about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one uh. step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two arms, two legs, two dicks. <laughs> Sequels are good! Dark Souls 2 at the bottom! No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're again. Yep, base DS2 enjoyer. Put a lot of work into this, huh? New feature, the Stanley Parable 2. Reassurance bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Okay. Come on. Give it a try. All right, but here's the thing. What if I kick the bucket? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. This is pretty good. Collect them all. Ooh. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, Bro, you'll run let me around out. gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Help! I don't want to be here anymore! Uh, oh, this is actually creepy. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I hate that. Ooh, 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 something just lit up right next to me, and I don't, I think it was my computer, but it was enough to scare the living shit out of me. This is terrifying. <laughs> Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Yeah. Well, you do know this is a fucking crazy idea. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Are you telling me this isn't actually info? It's getting okay, smaller. Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the whole. Infinity. Uh... From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well... Good for you, you found the bottom of the hole. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I do. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't oh mean. Oh, my God. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? Yeah, go with that. If that works for you... Then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of... Oh, for heaven. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really... Do. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Here, 
Let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to... How is this still appealing to you? Hmm. Is the ah! um, Teddy Paul button not working? You sure? I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stan. No! You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. No! I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. There! Oh. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years uh. here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Take it back down. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back down. Come on, hole. Let's go. Come on. Let's start it again. <laughs> what if I go back to the hole? I want to go back to the hole. That was an experience. Oh. Oh, you motherfucker. You don't like the idea of me spending my time in the hole. I know, this is just payback. Payback for when, you know, I press the skip button one too many times. Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Maybe that's it. I can take the original oh. Stanley Parable and simply, well... Insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Take a look. I'm looking. Okay. Terrifying. But I'm into it. Genuinely a bit terrifying. But yeah, I, I think it's good. It sort of, it's kind of reminds me of the back rooms, but you know. Oh, that's fucking... Ew, oh, that's weird. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting <gasps> friends, that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your Bitch. life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Let him have it. All right, broom closet, you don't understand. Me and the bucket, we're getting out of the closet. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. Nice. Now it's settled. No more discussion. Fuck you, broom closet. Take a hike, broom closet. Are we doing this again? The broom Still closet. no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well, because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works, because the sticker is also a bucket. Thank you for uh, the bucket sticker. I appreciate it. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. You know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs. Oh, um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. What if I want to press the on button? But at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed <gasps> the button to turn on the controls. No! Stanley gasped. In horror, had this been the bucket's plan all along? The to bucket take did over it? the machine and claim the power for itself? Oh. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. Silly birds! The control buttons became active again. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. 
Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Look at these silly- No! I was looking at silly birds, you motherfucker! I'm going to speed run to the end. I'm gonna turn it off to see what happens. Trust the completionist's instinct. Beware the false prophet! And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. Uh, the bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. So? It's just sequel content. So? We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. No. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? No. We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. I am not giving you my bucket. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. No, we don't! That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. No. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. Uh, okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. No. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Give the fans what they want. Hurry no. and... <laughs> we were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. You were magnificent. Goodbye, Bucket Destroyer. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. Why is this game more of a horror game than it originally was? Where are we going today? The Bucket asked. Oh no. I'm... I'm having feelings. For the Bucket. No, 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 what's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? <gasps> Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. I, I am so sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Uh, I, I didn't mean to. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, ah. God. You're so irresistible. Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. No! Give me the bucket, Stanley. No! No! I need it. No! Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Ah, the sky coochie. I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. You have, you, you're gonna go far away, Mr. Narrator. That was amazing. N no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Let's just go backwards. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> Yes, I love that video. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> but you're actually taking the time to the clock and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and set, see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Okay, so now I'm just going to the correct time again. 
After all, I know how much you enjoy saying the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 4.20 a.m. is. Let us use another slider to find out. Harak. <laughs> you know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. <laughs> I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Uh, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data f on for you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up a couple new ones. Should be ready for you the next time you boot up the game. Oh, Cuboinkle. Scrumptish. Oh, but I really like Occuboinkle. I really love Occ- I- here, I gotta put it like in this direction. If I can find you? What the fuck? I will find you wherever you are! Friend? Hello? Whoa, where am I? Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with the sequel. Where the first game teemed with, unorigin with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Narr narrator? No more spin-offs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creator made a plans to build the property into entire franchise. Please! Where are you? Sir? Hello again. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too! But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change a number in the game's title screen. We also really need a really dumb sub uh, subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combing it, uh, some random words together to make a new title for our game. The Stanley Parable 3. The Final Fire. It's absurd. I love it. Every time we restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content, recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time we start the game. There's only one last thing we need to do. I cannot lie to you. <laughs> He's not happy about that title. I want to go back to the epilogue because I swear I missed something. Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized. That bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. Oh! How did you get your hands on it? Uh... Isn't this the preview to the sequel? Uh... How do you have the bucket already? Uh... Hold on. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? N no I don't remember doing that at all. <laughs> oh no, the warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, so intoxicatingly wonderful. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Are you with me? Stanley! Oh, thank God, I didn't lose you. Stanley, the power of two buckets was too much. I had to destroy both of them. <gasps> I know how much the bucket meant to you, but I couldn't take the risk. I hope one day... You can forgive me. I can never forgive you now. What's the point without my bucket? What's the point? I hope you guys had fun today. Cause that was truly insane. I've missed a bunch of shit, but we can figure this shit out later. Anyways, I will see you later. Can I begin the game real quick before it ends? Sure. Hold on. What's this? Eight. The Stanley Parable Eight. eight. No, 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 no. This eight. doesn't look right at all. The Stanley eight. Parable takes place in an office building. There are doors eight. and branching paths. Eight. 
This is just a eight. button that says eight. Where did eight. the Stanley Parable go? Eight. Well, I'm looking around and I really can't find the eight. game anywhere. No eight. boss's office or mind control eight. facility or eight. any of that. Literally eight. just this eight button. Eight. And what's worse is that eight. you seem to be having a eight. better time with this nonsense game than with the story I wrote for you. I'm actually a little insulted. Eight. Well, I don't know what happened to the Stanley Parable or what the eight button is, eight. but apparently you're having a riveting eight. time with it. Eight. And frankly, I don't even eight. want to pander to someone eight. who finds this enjoyable. Eight. So with that, I guess just go eight. ahead and enjoy the eight. Stanley Parable eight. 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 Eight.